everybody, it's your girl Sophia, aka Sophie, back here on Sophia's Football Talk for a short but sweet little pulse match analysis review, match reaction, if you will, for the Man United versus Olympique Lyonnais. Short Lyon. Um, the 1 0 game is the second preseason game before we kick off our um, USA tour. Um, it was only one goal, which came in the second half. And there's a reason why I got this guy here um, as like the, the vocal point of the display and, and whatnot, because Donny van de Beek got his goal. This was his first game in a long time after, you know, he had a horrible injury. I believe it might have been against Everton, you know, earlier this this year. And uh, there's, of course, been reports that he most likely will be going. If we get a nice little fee, we'll, he'll probably be leaving. There might not necessarily be a big future for the guy, but th this literally was, you know, his celebration after it, like a sign of relief. Um, wonderful volley goal. Wow. I'm like, yes. And also, we do have to point out very nice delivery by the young uh, player, Gore, uh, which that cross was c'est magnifique. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm very happy. Um, but to be honest, the goal, the scoreline doesn't necessarily reflect the overall <clears throat> game in, in many ways, as we had definitely very good first opening 15 minutes. We probably should have scored four goals within those minutes, but, you know, as we still are lacking a, a you know, a proper number nine up front. It was Jane Sancho who was the false line. And I did say it in the vlog last week when I went to the, you know, the, the Leeds game here in Oslo that I did feel like, you know, him as a number nine, maybe doesn't work properly, but it wasn't only just him. The overall front line, it was lacking with the overall output, um, the, um, the, the, the basically the final third is what we're 100% lacking and struggling with. Because I do really feel like us playing out from the back, like there were moments where I'm thinking, mm, I like what I'm seeing. I like the football that I'm watching. Um, Matej Kovar, uh, who basically came in in the second half of, of last game, basically was able to play the full 90 minutes this time. And he did very well. There were moments where he was playing out from the back with like a key pass that ended up with creating like a good attack. We were just weren't able to finish it. So I do want to highlight him because I do feel like he he, he played a very good role today. It was maybe one moment where I felt like, okay, a little bit of sus pass here, but overall had a really good game. Also want to point out Diallo in the first half. Looked very good. Um, Mount, I would say, was better in this. I mean, technically, the first half, you know, we, we had a bunch of players. But the second half, the only one that still were playing was Matej Kovar. So the, the sample piece that I have to compare Mount to for, for this game and then the other game is obviously the first, both of the first halves, right? Um, this was definitely a way better half. Uh, he had some really good passes. The pressing was really good. So... You know, I'm, I'm I'm intrigued to see what can he do? How will that partnership between him and Bruno and Casemiro, however that will end up looking like at the end, what will that be? Because I'm definitely intrigued. Like I said, I'm not, you know, it's not a signing that I've been, you know, that I was excited about. Like the Unana signing, that one, that excites me, right? But the Mace Mount one, I was like, hmm. But I, I can kind of see it a little bit with Tenag is cooking, but obviously you need to get a lot of the first team starters to 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 play with them. And Courtly Sandro Martinez, the guy's amazing. What else is it to say? Johnny Evans first came back, like the, we re-signed him uh, and, and whatnot. Then he he looked good when he came on in the second half. I'm like, yo, the guy's 35. Like he can technically be the father of a couple of the youngsters that we were playing in the second half. So so yeah. Um, who else is it necessary to mention to, to bring on? Kobe Maino, definitely looking very good, comfortable in that midfield. Um, when he was playing in the first half, Hannibal has some really good moments. Laura Fernandez, I'm kind of like in the left back. We just need to see a bit more. But there are some players that I do feel like might be breaking through 
hopefully for, for, for next season. They just need to get opportunities and moments and whatnot. That's, that's, that's all. But once you do get your opportunity, you have to take it at full force, 100%. Varane, of course, the captain again. I ain't gonna lie, I will not be shocked if Varane is going to be the new captain. Because I do feel like he's, 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 he's doing well, in my opinion. But we'll have to wait and see. And we have been looking at to get a second goalkeeper in the market. We've been linked with Sion Suzuki, the uh, half Canadian, half Jap- Japanese player who does play in the Japanese league, I believe. Um, but I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't necessarily be too fussed about having Matej Kovar as a second option. Wouldn't mind that at all, but we will wait. We will wait and see. Fred coming in as well in second half has some good moments and whatnot, but it's it's pretty apparent that probably brother will be leaving. We just need to you know get a proper um, offer in, and then we move in up. And when it comes to Van de Beek, also had some good moments here and there, especially that that goal. I uh, would have loved for him to work at a Man United, but. It probably would be his time. I think, you know, if he does well in preseason, if it comes offers, which I wouldn't be surprised off of, you know, coming, you know, a good offer from a European club and whatnot, that the guy still has potential left in him. That, you know, even though it hasn't worked out in a Man United shirt, doesn't mean that the guy is dead, that he's rubbish. No, 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 no. Sometimes it just doesn't. It, it could be the team. It can be the league as well. And... I definitely think that he can he can go to another club and it will work out 100%. I hope it does. He, he deserves it 100% for sure. So it will be interesting to see. And also, I completely forgot to mention, Anthony came back. You know, obviously there's been some off-the-field issues with him, which we will not be addressing here. But we're talking about the footballing aspect. There were you know some interesting moments here and there. But um, he does need to, again, work on not keeping the ball too long and, and moving it, progressing it forward, you know, because I like when my wingers are, are being way more direct and they'll slow it down and then try to wait for somebody else to, to come and help you and then give a pass to them. No, no, no. You better go for it. You better keep going and, and, and whatnot. But yeah, those are kind of like my, my overall thoughts. Uh, and whatnot. Oh, I also want to mention Isa Thompson Oden, the Norwegian youngster, had a very nice cameo when he came in in the second half once again. Uh, and whatnot. Obviously, he had an assist for the Noam Emeron goal in in the game at at Oslo, um, which was good. And and this time he looked very fresh. So hey, looking good, looking good. But want to see more of him and. Bit surprised that we didn't see more f- at le- at all Noam Emeron to come in and get some minutes, but maybe we're trying to give him form other. Game. I don't know, and then try to get some other uh, guys in. But yeah, there was some other youngsters coming in, whatnot. Interesting, but hey, I'm definitely very much excited for the game on uh, on Saturday where we're going to be playing Arsenal. I mean, right now, hopefully, we'll have. Well, not not to be there in that game. I will definitely be doing a watch along for that game. So, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this short but sweet match reaction. We will try to do more videos like this for, for every Man United games instead of doing live match reaction as, especially when it comes to doing watch longs and then doing instant live match reaction after, that can be a bit much. I feel like it's important to choose or else you're going to get burnt out. So, so that's going to be the case. But Regardless, I hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And of course, also subscribe to the channel as well. We are on the road to 2K subscribers. Yes, yes, yes. Which is a goal for me to be able to do before the season starts. So that would be great. Um, also, feel free to join the SOT membership. Link is in the description box. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Selfie out. Bye-bye.